How much money can I make secretly living inside of somebody's base? The rules are simple. If the base owner catches you, you immediately lose. Whoever trades up from nothing to the most money after one week wins the competition. All right, guys, I don't know what Loverfella's strategy is to get inside of this base, but it's primarily an underground base. So I want to get a bunch of tools because I think if we just go in the front door, we're going to get caught right away. Honestly, I feel like Loki. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's just take it on in. All right, this is kind of risky. I don't know if he's inside. <laughs> oh, look at this. Immediately a full set of armor. I can't believe this. Wow. I don't know what Isaac's up to right now, but this is crazy. And I'm going to take this sword as well. Come here, buddy. This is going to be good for money making. But remember, guys, if I take too much, this guy's going to get suspicious. Oh, my God. I'm going to be rich, baby. All right, there we go. We got a nice set of stone tools and we have enough cobblestone, actually, to make a furnace. While Isaac was still outside acting like a total noob, I'd already infiltrated the chest room deep inside the main base. I'm going to get some soul torches and some banners. I'm going to make my base a blue themed, not taking every thing right now. Okay. 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 I got to get out of here. I need to make it some sort of tools maybe, huh? All right. It might be time to make our entrance guys. I said, we weren't going to go through the front door, but the guy seems like he's pretty far away right now. So we might go in for this. The problem is if I step in that portal, I get teleported, but that'll be a really good defense, but I need to somehow get there without getting caught. So maybe what I could do is tunnel in right here behind. Oh, whoa, that scared me. We'll tunnel in here. We'll get behind it this way. We'll put these two blocks back. Wow. That is dark. I'm gonna go left here. This looks like his chest room. I would love to set up right below this, actually. We might just try to dig down right here and hopefully we can do this before he catches us. Okay, we got our spot in the base and he did not see us. That was absolutely perfect. I am gonna make sure that the entrance in and out of the base is the easiest possible entrance I could ever make because this is where I'm gonna be making a lot of my money. Now, I might... <gasps> I got a little too comfortable while invading. So it was a good warning for me that I needed to be more cautious in the future. I gotta get back in. I gotta get back in. Gotta get back in. Let's close it up. <laughs> Did not like that. Now he's right above us. Literally right there. You can see his name tag. So I'm trying to just dig down a little bit further. Oh, we hit a cave. This is going to be the perfect spot to set up our base. We're also being attacked by a creeper right now. If that blows up, we might get caught. Oh man, we got to lay low for a little bit. What I would say would look really good is we take that off. We do this. We put up two blocks temporarily. Put a block here. Pop that in. Oh, it's not going vertical. Give me a vertical one just like that. All we have to do now is break our way in here very, very quickly and then immediately get this stone smelting because that's going to be a, caught, a spot where we get caught. So, oh no, 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 no. That was the only spruce wood I had to plug up that corner with. That's not good. If I can be really quick before he comes down, he's right there. I can maybe grab a little bit of spruce wood somewhere. Thank God he had some. Oh, I thought it was over. I really did. Woo! There it is. Let's go, baby. You're going to walk in. Oh, can't get in. Can't get in because you got to crouch to get in. I see what I want, though. All I wanted was some carrots, and then we're going to try to get back down without getting caught. He doesn't have carrots in here. What is this chest? It's just a bunch of axolotls. Man, there's no freaking... We did get some food in a bed, though. That's pretty nice. And 36 blocks of gold. Honestly, I don't feel comfortable anymore. We got to get down there. We didn't get what we wanted. It was way too close to getting caught there. I was actually... My heart was beating out of my chest. He had a blue one a purple one and another purple one. Beautiful. We've got four cow spawners and a chicken. We'll do a chicken for say 30 and then four cow for 80. So if that sells, we're literally rich immediately, which is crazy to have that level of money so quick. But that's what happens when you steal all the money that you earn. I started expanding my base and discovered the most insane pathway yet. Oh, yes, sir. That's what you're looking for, folks. That is a great indication you found the right area. I'm just going to be honest with you. I hear Loverfella digging to my right. Loverfella's base is that way. Now that we know Loverfella's base is probably directly directly underneath the other side of this. We could get in there and steal from him. Let's see what we have access to. A vote shovel. I'm going to use that. This is crazy, dude. Oh my God. The cow spawner just sold for $80,000. This is going to be the craziest trade up ever. Right, I'm actually going to sacrifice a block of gold right now because gold pickaxes are actually extremely fast. It'll be super nice for digging underneath this guy's base because it's going to get us to love fella faster. Dude, that is Isaac. That's Isaac. That's Isaac. Isaac's tunneling next to me. There's no way. Oh! <gasps> He just what? saw us. Oh man, dude. How long did that take you to find me? You are not a very good home invader. Oh, I heard you. I didn't think you were below me. What are you doing? Honestly, I was going to try to sneak in here and steal your stuff, but I just dug and I was looking directly at you and I'm like, crap. Uh, very interesting. Well, um, yeah, you can take that. Go ahead. It's all yours, buddy. Dang it. You got everything from it before I could. I, uh, by the way, forgot to tell you that, um, we are allowed to kill each other if we see each other in each other's base. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, now that you've made that roll, I get like a minute grace Ten, period. You can't be nine. killing me. You can only kill each other if you catch them in your own base. So I'm 
not in your base now. You're close enough that it counts as mine. Eight, no, no, this ain't seven, your base. You don't. Six, okay, okay. You, five. All right, four, I'm not in your base. I'm not threes. in your base. Threes. Okay, this is a problem. Isaac now knows where I live. My whole base is compromised, and this is bad. So if I just take up my entire floor and make the whole floor lava, Isaac couldn't really dig up, and he would basically die if he came. Problem is, lava is very expensive, and I'm trying to decide if it's worth it to spend ten thousand dollars on just two buckets. I would say yes. So I'm gonna have to dig out the entire floor, place it in the corner, and then have it like flow over, I guess, and then fill it back in. This guy's—he's right on the other side of us. We gotta be careful about what chest we decide to open because once we open them, he could hear it and then we have to get out as soon as possible. You know what? I'm stealing this carrot. That's the only crop I've seen in this base so far. There's nothing in here. I don't even know what I'm taking right now. I'm just taking everything I see. We got a netherite shovel out of that and he did not hear. You know what? I'm taking this cow spawner too. He might notice this. That's the problem. Clean exit right there. We got a bunch of stuff right there. Now the problem is Loverfellow will find our base and steal our valuables because he now has a direct route over here. Yeah, he's AFK. It's on the name tag. So this is the ultimate time to get in there. So we've got barrel flooring. We've got dogs. We've got lanterns. Bro has some sort of weird like effigy over here. Oh, 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 what do we have here? Infinite stake, it seems. Okay, none of that's gonna sell for a lot. All right, guys, we're in the base. We just checked out the room that we're living underneath, but honestly, it's just full of a bunch of junk. Like, that's the only way to put it. Now, this chest has some interesting stuff in it, some golden armor. I don't know why, but I'll take that. All right, we're running out of inventory. I keep stealing all the fireworks I see, but I did just get the spawner overload right here. Okay, and I got another axolotl. It's time to get back into the base. There we go. So now we have like a secondary entrance using an existing painting, and I think that we can still walk in. Yeah. Now we just got to take this and connect it, and now we've got a way to get into like two different areas of the base very rapidly and quickly. So at any point if he's near us, bam, I can just go in here and hide. Now at this point, when I was connecting my second secret entrance, I heard something from the other side of the wall. I wonder who that could be. So Isaac seems to have sealed his off with stone and thinks that I won't be able to notice. Bam. Is this big? Oh, it is. He has axolotls. <laughs> I know he's below me because I see the particles. All right, I just put some random holes around the base and at least in the actual farmland. And that's going to allow us to just fertilize this all up. It's a little bit inefficient, but this is the perfect little cave base in my opinion. Oh, he saw me. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Where did he come from? Man, at least we had our chest covered up. He never actually saw it. Because I have the obsidian, I'm actually gonna place it down here. I'm gonna break this tunnel so he thinks that we're not there. Now that I know where he lives, I have everything that I need. We're gonna get a little food. We're gonna try a little psychological terror on my brother. Listen, Loverfella is in my walls right now. He's trying to invade us. I hear him. So I'm gonna sneak out because he's not gonna find our hidden chest. And I'm gonna get over to his base and try to take everything from him. Oh my gosh, he's obsidian up this pathway. How did he get obsidian? Okay, it was only six pieces. I was about to say. I know he's not here because we just heard him back at the other place. <gasps> Lava, he put a trap? Oh my gosh, he almost got me with that. I don't see him here, but I'm telling you guys, he's in my walls. I just heard him digging. He's right here. I swear he's right here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, guys. Like I said, psychological horror. <laughs> All right, guys, he's officially out of our base. We can't kill him anymore. What I should really be doing is using obsidian to make my walls out of, because then Isaac can't get in here, because then I can really start actually making some farms and stuff. If he does dig in, it's gonna take him so long that I'll probably hear him. All right, it's time to get these spawners listed on the AH. 35,000 for four frog spawners that we sold. The cow spawner will sell for 8,500. Oh, frog spawners sold right away. That's really good. Well, it probably means we underpriced them, but whatever. We already sold the cow spawner too. There are no skeleton spawners on the entire marketplace right now. I'm gonna list this thing up for $200,000. Somebody might bite on that if they really need one. This is great. Obsidian walls on four sides, another portal on the front. So this guy probably won't be breaking in. Lava below. I don't wanna do lava on top because Isaac could dig that out and use it as a trap. But now I'm a little bit concerned that he's back because that makes it a lot harder. And I really actually need to start focusing on ways to make money other than just like stopping Isaac. We're gonna get some soul sand today because it's actually on the market. And I usually need this for my idea of a giant nether wart farm, which, oh, there they are, 4,500. Isaac got so lost in my tunnels that he decided to dig to the surface and just kept circling around the player's base. And he was doing this while I was working on the biggest play ever that was gonna make me millions. Oh my gosh, look at him, he's right there. And there's a chest right here. Listen, I think we could get at least three of those diamond blocks and then make a run for it. That's gonna be my plan. And we're in the base officially now. We are at high risk to be caught right now, but these diamond blocks are too appealing to me. Gonna get one and see if you heard that. Okay, we got three diamond blocks, but now he's too close for comfort. We found the crop room too. Okay, I think we're safe to keep working through the base. He's literally right on top of us right now. He has a bunch of dogs in here. I don't exactly know where I'm at. Hold on. I think I know how to actually get back to my base right now. I think our base is right to the right here. You know what? We'll take it. We're just getting back. I cannot be in here any longer. We're definitely going to get caught. Now that I have a better lay of the land and I know... Most of what I need is in here. Leather, oh, that's gonna sell for some money. We'll get some leather on the market. 5K per leather. I think that's usually the going rate for leather. Oh, mm, oh, lava, baby, lava, 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 lava. Blaze rods, blaze rods, blaze rods. Good for potion, need it. Go, 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 go. Back home we go, back home we go. That guy's literally right there. <laughs> 
Dude, Benny is good. If you are watching this video, I hope you see this moment where you literally just miss catching me by about 30 seconds. We'll get five of these. So I feel like we could do something like this, guys. Nice little walkway upstairs. And then the roof of the existing base becomes the floor of our secondary room up here. So that's gonna be a nice little addition here. So the upstairs brewing stand is completed, but again, we don't want Isaac to know about it. So the best thing that we can do would be, unfortunately, to rebuild this each time we wanna go up there. So it's gonna be kind of like this. I literally don't know if that guy's in my tunnel. Like he's so close to me, so close to me so often it's freaking me out. I can't do any money making right now because of this issue. And I am genuinely worried that he's gonna see us. Let's get over here to Isaac though. God, Isaac. Dude, I think Isaac must've just saw him too. So here's a plan. That guy's gonna go. I'm gonna ender pearl to that corner. I'm gonna catch him when he's digging that way. And I'm hoping I can see the base and then ender pearl somewhere else, steal items and make a breakout. Please tell me the guy didn't just AFK. Okay, whew, he's moving again. There he goes. Now Isaac should start digging again. I think that's like the top of the base. That's probably far enough away for me to dig this last little bit out. My OCD is hurting too much. I'm willing to risk getting caught to break out this last one. <sighs> Did anyone just hear that? I did it, I did it. Oh my God, I did it. Oh my God. I now have full access to his whatever this is. And I'm not sure. What is this? Is this like another secret path? Loverfell is behind me and he just took damage. He's in the tunnel somewhere. I found him. Oh, hey buddy. Zach, here's the thing. I have a lot more money than you right now. How much do you have? I have 78,000 right now. Oh, I have 51,000. Anyway, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what? Oh wait, I, hold on. If I initiate combat with you, Zach, it's gonna make your name tag visible. Oh, so yeah. I can't really defend can't. it. All right, man, I'll see you around. <laughs> okay. You know what, Zach? I don't want to get caught, so I'm going to let you slide on that one. But if you come back here again, I'm killing you. All right. He actually got rid of all of our water. Dude, I think they're in my base. I think they're in my base. I think they're in my base. I think I'm losing everything. Holy crap. I think they found it. Isaac, we have an issue. We have an issue. There's a second guy. I know. The second guy is here. Our base has been compromised. My base has been compromised. All right. But they don't know that I'm here. They didn't see me. Freaking, I'll tell you why you've been compromised, Zach, because you sound like a little mole. You've been digging tunnels this entire episode. Fortunately, I did prepare for this. I do have a backup, but this is uh, about to be even harder, dude. Wait, I don't have a backup. And now they have a way into my base because you connected to my base 50 times. Hey, good luck, man. Just don't get caught. Are you? lose don't forget it so another portal sound oh this is oh this is the nether portal and i think my nether wart farm honestly was like right here oh wow there it is okay good news is nether wart farm has not been compromised and also my roof is still not exposed as far as i'm aware so things are going not well but they could be better all right so i've been making this slab staircase up here and you kind of have to dig a lot more than you'd think because you need twice as much room and i just uncovered something that looks like grass and I, that's really confusing me talk about an escape hatch if we need one look at this just a natural giant cave down here take it all we're moving it we're moving it we're moving it, we're moving it, we're moving it. I can't make a business when this guy is out here constantly finding my bases, but yet somehow hasn't found me once. Last bit, last bit, last bit. Yeah, so they haven't been in my tunnel yet. They don't realize this is here. I'm gonna block this off. And since this guy's in my base, I'm going in his base, which should be right through here. If I'm not mistaken, this guy's gonna be really suspicious on here. So if I leave and go reset somewhere totally different, he's gonna be wasting a lot of time thinking that I'm there when really I'm somewhere else. And we're going this way, going up here. I just need, I need to find somewhere new to live. I managed to get out of there, but as I circled around the base, I saw a small room above it and got an interesting idea. Okay, so what I like about this, guys, is that this rooftop area is kind of disconnected from the rest of the base. I'm gonna see if there's a way up there. This would be a decent place to live, to be honest. Like, I could sit here, I would have, like, easy access to escape. I could work on a second business, but the problem is it's not big enough. So we'll take these four spruce planks, we're gonna place them down here, and I hope that that'll be enough to deter him from coming up here and forgetting this exists. Okay, so we sold three diamond blocks earlier, and I'm gonna turn one of them, at least, into a diamond pickaxe right here. Also. Making a chest out of mangrove planks should give me a mangrove chest. That would be the easiest thing ever to add, Minecraft. Okay, so not only did he find our base, he also dug up a hole in the center, and that's now my third base in a row compromised, and I really cannot believe that he actually found me up here of all places. I have never in my life found somebody so unbelievably thirsty to find me. We're getting out of here. All right, I really didn't want to play hardball, guys, but at this point, I'm desperate for a base, and since this seems like an area, but what if he's actually actively building this, and that's where I go live, and he gets me again? No, none of this area is safe, so I'm going in. Yeah, so I'm going to actually live all the way down here, just to confirm these are literally hay bales that have no bearing on anything whatsoever, which means I can live underneath the hay bales. Hopefully, this is finally the final base that I can start working on. Like, I'm so far, so deep in this guy's base, so far away from anything. Isaac doesn't even know where I am, and we have so much catching up to do, man, and if he finds me again. I've now lived above, below, and inside of his base, and he's almost caught me every direction. So what I don't feel good about is each one of these breaks so slowly, it pretty much doubles the time it takes to do anything, so that's kind of an issue, but it's like kind of living in the most harsh environment possible for a home invasion, especially one where it's about making money as quickly as you can, because I... Well, that was really lucky that, that just happened. <laughs> 
Guys, I don't know what's going on, but there's four people here now. This is really bad. Oh, we just sold Ender Pearls for $5,000 though. I guess that's always good. It's really grind hour now, isn't it, folks? It's really grind hour. Let's go. Motivational music, inspiring. Like, boom, the energy shifting for Zach. If there's one thing I know, I need a stone cutter. Not ideal. I need regular stone to make a stone cutter, and I don't have any regular stone because I'm so deep. I'm in the deep slate. So I'm just gonna have to spend some of the money that I have to buy it. I don't think it's that expensive. Finally, as I was saying, there's one thing that I know, and it's that stone cutters make you a lot of money. God, I would do that. And people will pay so much money for a stack of deep slate bricks. It's unbelievable. Oh my gosh, we've done it, folks. We can make our brewing stands again. All right, we'll make all five of them just like last time. And uh, it would be really nice if we just went in the back wall just like this. Isaac went out for another invade for his newly discovered path while I was setting up my third base. We made it up to whatever this part of the base is. I've yet to be in here. There's actually a little secret entrance over there too. I might try to do it, guys. This is the play. I'm getting desperate. I need these crops. All right, we're gonna try to parkour across here. Okay. Perfect parkour. Now the thing is, they're right on the other side of this wall. I'm just gonna take a quick peek. Okay, the time is now to take the carrots. He probably heard that, he probably heard that. He's moving really fast. Oh wait, he did it. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna try to replant these two so he doesn't notice. All right, we finally got into the crop room, guys. That took forever. You know how long I waited on the edge of that thing? I don't know where he's at, but I'm gonna try to loot up these barrels in the middle. A music disc, why not? In here, a hoe. Okay, where's he at, where's he at? Always gotta know where he's at. Liquor's back. This is not good. Potatoes, melons. Oh, I gotta get out now. Where do I go? Down here? Crap. Is there? Is this safe? There's water. I'm just going down. I don't know what this is. Crap, I didn't. Did hay bales save you? I don't know if that's true or not. Gosh, I don't know, guys. Where are they at? I gotta go down. Loverfell is down here? How did you just get down? What are you doing down here? Emergency escape by me. I was just gonna dig down and hide and then I ran into you. Put the hay back, put the hay back. He's gonna know we're down here. Yeah, but the thing is that's your base, not mine. Oh crap, go, 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 go. Guys, at this point, he got so suspicious, he started reaching out to some mods and one of our mods was looking for us inside the base. We actually had to tell them it wasn't a hacker. It was Loverfella and my brother making a video so she wouldn't ban our alt accounts. This is why we had the emergency tunnel, right though? We are getting out of that base right now. We're gonna make a run for it and get to the mangrove forest. While he's got the mods and they're looking around and trying to find us. I'm gonna take everything out and I'm gonna move again. And I really truly believe this is my last attempt to do this. If he catches me again, I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Hey, my pick spawner sold. I just made some money. Watch this. Oh yeah, baby, right here. Random spot on the side of the wall. Because in order to get here, that means he would have to randomly block clutch to fall in. This is the spot. The only issue is, I don't know how I'll ever find this again, if I ever leave, which I will have to at some point. I gotta get a new area to invade this base in, and I'm wondering if up here would be a good spot. Now, it's pretty risky, but at the same time, I don't think I've seen these guys come up to the top one time during this whole video. There's a missing wood block here, guys, on the structure. I'm just curious, is this a spot to invade from? <gasps> This is the staircase up, you gotta be kidding me. I have no idea why this is here, but we just found it and this is going to be the new base of operations for us. I wanna make a play right now, guys, now that we have our little home base set up here, I wanna try to get back to my original base and get my valuable items out of there. We've emptied our inventory into that chest boat and it's time to get back out there. back into our original secret base right here. We're gonna see if they found it. I assume they did though, because they literally looked like they were right in it. This chest still has an iron pickaxe, so I'll take that. That seems pretty valuable, as well as 64 cobblestone, because why not? We don't have any blocks now that we left this place. Maybe they never found it. It's really hard to say, guys, so we might be able to still use this, but I'm like 90% sure that I didn't. <gasps> did they find the chest? Grab everything I can. I don't even care if we leave anything. We just gotta get out, because that guy definitely heard it. Okay, we can now expand into here and turn this into a really, really nice Nice farm. We have 17 diamonds. We're gonna use this to create ourselves one single backup diamond pickaxe. Then I think we sell the rest for 50,000. See if that sells overnight. Someone's selling a lot of fireworks for 4,500 a pop. I'm pretty sure the market is almost double these. That gives us all of these things that we can now collect. Sell these for 10K. I'll double my money on all of these. Oh, I just realized guys, the reason we're almost a half a million is because our zombie spawners and our skeleton spawners sold for like 150,000 and like 200,000. Lucky for us, I haven't seen the base owner in like two or three minutes. So I'm not exactly sure where he went. He could just be really deep down there in the base and out of render distance. I think we're gonna try to invade the base and try to find an area in the walls that we can live in. We're gonna peek around the corners. It doesn't look like he's here. I'm thinking like right here would be a good spot. But <gasps> there's actually like a little cave here too. Okay, this is perfect. I was just gonna hollow this area out, but it's already dug out for some reason. It's like a cave that this guy just covered over. 
So I sold my Deep Slate for 15,000. I sold my Diamonds for 50,000. My Galaxy Rockets for a profit. I sold the Runes for a profit, the Deep Slate for a profit, all the Spawners for a profit. $228,000 from invading someone's base and people tell me they can't make money. Look at this, guys. And most of this isn't from stealing items too. Just a little bit. $5,000 for some redstone? That might not be a bad idea. Why invade when you can just buy it? You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. That's the roof of the room he's in, actually. This is definitely the storage room right below us, if I had to guess, because there's ceiling lights right here. So he must have been right below us. This is good. Here we go. Let's see if we can get some soul sand. Let's see if we can get some string. Let's see if we can get some entrepreneurial Aww. items. All right, we're in the base now. We're going for an invade. Oh my gosh, Loverfell is in there right now. Okay, where's the wood? I don't even care about Loverfella. We just need some wood, and there we got it. Oh, there he is. Why does he not have a name tag at the moment? Oh, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm so glad this was here. We're taking the back roads here. I know this place like the back of my hand. Isaac must be around here somewhere, right? I'm actually gonna make a play for the crops here too. I'm just gonna harvest them all before that guy gets back. All right, we might not get another opportunity like this, so I'm just gonna be taking them all. Someone's harvesting the crops. I'm so confused. I gotta get back in here. Okay, so I think if I break here, that's gonna be lava. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't wanna push our luck. We got what we needed. We got plenty of crops now, including melons. We can even get some melons growing down here. I didn't even expect that. And we can actually make a diamond hoe now out of all of our diamonds that we have. Oh man, this is crazy. And you know what else is crazy? This guy who owns the base submitted a ticket yesterday, which I have here saying that somebody's invading his base and he's getting his item stolen. Kind of funny. I feel bad for him. Oh, string. Only five, but that's okay. Oh, yes. Smooth stone. I think we need this to make something very powerful like a piston. Go, go, go. Hey, take that. I will say when we stole all of these carrots, I was just thinking in my panic, I forgot to replant them. So technically the guy is going to go into his base and realize that all of his crops have been harvested. That's a hundred percent going to give us away at least slightly. So, okay. Now we have our single piston, but we need a slime and I don't know if we can afford a slime. $1,000 each. Okay. we got our very first sticky piston. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is make a really, really, really good simple trap with this. But I know that the piston has to go here. We have to get a redstone inverter place. And then when you trip it, it's going to extend that and open it up. So then we need to mine this out. And then we need to build a very simple redstone inverting mechanism. And this should be pretty ruthless and kill Isaac very quickly. Our building block of choice is actually going to be the spruce logs today because we just have a bunch of them that we stole earlier. And we'll make the furnaces right in the middle there. So now we have an even wall. And then we'll do that over here too. I began building the craziest trap to prevent Isaac from invading my base. Dude is not getting in here, that's for sure. And while I was doing that, he just kept on building his little beta cave base. Hey, this isn't bad. Look, look, look. You put this up here. Then you have to crouch to get through. And it maybe makes you fall in while crouching. It's not my best trap, but let's go ahead and at least dig it out for now. There's no way to get up either. So we kind of need to something like that. I hope this works. All right, let's dig this out. So it at least takes you all the way down. And then um, maybe at the very bottom, we could just add a little bit of lava in here to kind of guarantee the kill. Farm field and the new base is completely done. Our new little crafting area and storage area is done. And then I was like, you know what? We need a bedroom as well as kind of an area to escape if we do get in trouble. Cause we gotta have a fully functional house underneath this guy's base, of course. That's how you do it, baby. Let's get up there. Let's go. I know that he was digging somewhere near the crop. So I know that he's somewhere around there at least. Let's find him. Oh, there he is. No, that's th that's not even him. That's a fake him. That's just a head. Let's go. Let's go. If my calculations were correct, Isaac was over here this way. We took the little exit out of our base and we're back up top now. This little building right here houses our bed right there at the top. He never did find this base, so I'm gonna get up to there. The only reason I left it is because I thought we needed more room to actually make money. Back up here, we'll grab our bed. I did kind of decorate this out a little bit. I also want the stone cutter and the smoker for down there because I'm trying to get all of our crafting stuff at the bottom. Now we got most of the actual stuff from our second base here and I'm gonna try to get back to our original base. I gotta get out of here quick before we get caught. Hold on guys, I think I might be being stupid here. That is definitely an emergency escape boat. But what I'm thinking is earlier I did hear crops breaking and I know it wasn't the owner because the owner wasn't actually doing anything, which means Isaac has to have been around that area I was at earlier, 100%. And if he is, that means he was either up, left, right, forward, back, behind, or below me in one of those directions. We've already checked two of them. What I should do is just come up here and start digging straight down looking for any entrance holes. Hey, look at this. Could be something. Let's break it and see. Oh, upstairs in the base. Okay, let's take it back this way. From this, we actually have a lot of junk blocks in our inventory, I'm noticing. We have amethyst shards, which we can sell. These will sell for $5,000, I think. So copper right here isn't worth a lot, but usually people will buy it for 2,500. So we might as well list it because I'm not going to use it. But whoa, whoa, what do we stumble upon here? Looks like we might've found ourselves a little Isaac base, folks. Looks like we might need to get ready. I do like shark gills, all right? This gives me permanent water breathing. We have permanent water breathing from here on out the rest of this episode. That is crazy. Oh my gosh, 64 are worth $25,000. And we basically have at least 30K worth of fireworks here. So we'll actually sell these for 24,000 and undercut the guy that already listed them. Oh, look at that. And then these guys will sell for like, I don't know, 
10,000 because there's no cheap fireworks listed right now. So somebody might just want a few and they might spend 10,000 on those. Oh, he's right there. Wow, how did he get so many bones? Is that what he's investing in right now is bones? All right, we're officially out of bone meal. Look at all the potatoes that have grown up. Wow, we're gonna get a nice harvest here and replant all of this. All right, we're just gonna go for it, guys. I've waited long enough. I think I feel pretty confident here. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, we made it up to this portion of the roof. We can see he's living clearly above the guy's base. Hopefully it hasn't been too long. I have not seen the guy. Oh, he's coming. Oh my gosh, who's this? What's up, buddy? It's Zach. I caught you. I can't use combat. Get out. All right, fair enough, fair enough. See you around, buddy. Loverfella tried to break in. We defended him, but he kind of sidetracked us. It's Operation Replant the Farm Fields Without Getting Caught underway right now. So I'm actually going to be making a play towards the base. And I know for a fact from our previous invades that this should lead me right down to the farm. So we're going to have to jump across here and work our way down. Down across the side here. The crops are right below us, so I'm actually gonna drop down here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Get out of sight now. Oh, I'm so happy there's nobody in there. That could have been disastrous. Nobody's here. This is really risky, guys. We're tight roping along the side of a mountain right now to get back into space and replant these crops. He hasn't looked like he's actually discovered this yet, though. So I'm gonna get these replanted and try to get out here. If I get caught because I'm replanting crops, I'm gonna lose my mind, by the way. Honestly, we could load up on steak. I bet we could sell that for a lot of money on the AH. Yeah, okay. We got everything we need in here. It's Operation Get Out of the Base now. All right, so golden carrots do make invisibility potions. I bought a stack of golden carrots right here. We're going to add that to our collection. And I think we can buy a nice old big fat stack of sand to get that smelting for some bottles, brown mushroom and a spider eye. Uh, so we're going to have to see how we can obtain some of those. Then we can make invisibility potions. That's always like such an OP item to have. Looking on the AH stake is pretty worthless. I guess that makes sense because cow spawners are relatively easy to get, but we'll go ahead and list these all for $150. And I think they will sell at that price. Slowly but surely we will sell a bunch of steak. Now I haven't seen any brown mushrooms down here. So can I buy those? Bam, 8,000 for a stack. Then we need sugar and spider eyes. So we can get a little bit of sugar cane here. I could replant this, but I think we're not gonna need that many invisibility potions. So we'll turn it all straight into sugar. Finally, we need spider eyes. Look at this. We're literally selling steak as fast as I can put it up. Somebody's just mass buying it right now. They're probably trying to flip it, which I think is awesome because I'll just take the $150 off each of these. People are selling them. I can't believe it. I actually found some spider eyes. So now we can create the fermented spider eyes of which we need 64 of. Now we actually have everything we need to create stacks on stacks of invisibility eight minute potions. And then I could literally do anything that I want inside of Isaac's base without basically ever being caught. Isaac's going to get absolutely decimated. So let's go ahead with the golden carrots. And just like that, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, eight minute potions. I feel pretty good about my odds of using this on Isaac. So I'm going to keep two on me at all times. I'm going to store all my potion ingredients right in here because these are worth so much money now. And then Isaac has no idea that it's there. And now I can go happily invade Isaac and take so much items from him who have no idea what hit him. We'll take off the armor to make sure we're maximum invisible and we're not even going to bring it with us. All right, guys, the base owner is in there moving around. Look at that right now. They're actually getting kind of close to where our actual entrance to our secret base is. I want to find where Loverfella's base is. So I'm trying to sneak in here and find him when he's invading and then we'll follow him back to his base. And it's going to be kind of tricky. Okay, yeah, look at this. There's a giant wall of heads here and I want to take them all. I don't know what these mean to the base owner, but they're mine now. I live underneath them and I own everything in his property until he catches me. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. It doesn't look like he's moving. Okay, I think we're good. We're in the clear. These actual head blocks don't make a lot of noise when you break them. I assume all these guys help build the base or they're this guy's friends. I don't know what they are, but they're mine now. And I filled it up. Look at that. A two for one. Go invisible and refill the bottle. You can't beat it. And now we go back to Isaac's base. We can be kind of chill now for a second. Take a look at the base, crops, some dogs. I have 16 full minutes of invisibility. This is so funny, bro. Okay. Wait, there he is. Oh, that's how you get into your base. Is it Isaac? Well, how about that? Okay, we basically stole a full inventory worth of Minecraft player heads. That's actually incredible how many this guy had. I mean, how long did that take to get that collection? There's the chest that we're after. And I feel like just a quick little, well timed ender pearl. Whoa, 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 what was that noise? Wait, Loverfell is in here. Wait a minute. Did anyone just see that? There was a carrot right here. Is he stealing from me? Oh gosh, there's a there's a spitball right there. I just opened the chest. I swear to God, Loverfell is in here, guys. The carrots gave him away. I'm telling you, he literally just hit a carrot right there. And then he like, is, he's just crouching in a corner right now. He really doesn't understand how the particles work. Wow, this is incredible. He's so scared of the base owner. And it looks like Isaac came out of here doing something. Crap, where is he at? I know he's invisible in here. I saw that carrot be held in the hand. I'm not crazy. Man, I, this is really messing with my brain right now. I really feel like I'm actually going insane. 
can't believe he doesn't see me. He doesn't understand how the particles work. Or he might have particles turned off and he literally can't see me at all. I still have four minutes left. I have another one to take, but I know he came down here and there must be some sort of secret chest somewhere down here that he moved the items to. What do we have here? Dang it! I definitely just heard him open a barrel. He's trying to steal my stuff. I told him to get out. He has to talk to us now. This is unfair. He's invisible. How am I supposed to tell him to stop? Are you good, Isaac? Uh, did you just talk? I just saw your name from my base. I saw you break the carrot. Your, the farm gave you away, dude. And then I couldn't find you. I was going crazy. You're stealing from me with an invisibility potion. How'd you even get that? I first off didn't take anything, nor was I in your base. And I actually truly think you're going crazy. I'll tell you what. You opened up the wrong chest. If you opened up another one, you would have taken everything I had before I noticed. But you gave yourself away by breaking one of my carrots in the farm. I didn't do that. Not all is lost. I know that he's paranoid as crap right now and still thinks I'm in the base, even though I'm leaving it. And the base owner doesn't know that I have this and I'm sure that I can get some more stealings in here and see what I can take. So I'd like to just get a couple easy profits, you know, just nab a couple things, some diamond blocks, some swords. Hey, a pickaxe, needed that. I guess we're just gonna have to go make some money the honest way for a minute, guys. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Every single idea I had to steal from Isaac has been squandered. Heartbreaking, truly. I could turn some of these into some profits. Like maybe a potion of invisibility is worth a lot of money. Well, 64 for 40,000 and I sold 14 for 50,000 last night. This seems like a really potential good profit. So let's buy this and then 32 of them for $50,000 overnight. Take all of our lapis, make a whole bunch of pickaxes. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to enchant all of these pickaxes up there at the guy's thing and then start flipping them because I think that's a pretty good profit maker. The guy is back here in the cow corner. I think the time is now. We might be able to get into the base and get to the chest room before they see us. All right, we got to be fast with this. Sometimes stealth is the name of the game, but sometimes you just got to be fast. Wait, there's a zombie pigman in here. That could be perfect. He's going to mask our noise. All right, we got an efficient. Efficiency five. Loverfell is in here freaking enchanting. I'm gonna take the enchanting table. What? Oh, they just stole it from me. What? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. He, he, we're not gonna do that, buddy. He just walked in, took it, and left like an NPC robot. All right, we got the enchanting table and I brought it back to our base. This is our new bait block because Loverfella clearly wants this. He's going back for more. I'm gonna take it from him now. It's gotta be a redstone chest here, right? Stone, cobblestone, dirt. Okay, these things look kind of expensive. I'm just gonna take those. I don't even know what they do. Pearlescent frog lights and glow squiddings and some torches and stuff. I'm gonna get out on that. I don't really feel comfortable being here any longer. So I'm just gonna try to go back up to our temporary base. <laughs> it's like a little rat, dude. 18 of these. I'll take the buckets. I'll take the lead. I hear Loverfella digging again. Does that mean he's in my base? That is not good. That was the funniest thing, bro. I can't believe he just came in. Oh, no way. No way. What? Crap, I broke. Well, that was, uh, you know, guys, every video I do make, you call it the big mistake of the day. You could argue that was the big mistake. That cost me a borderline $100,000. We're just, I'm just going to admit that. It really honestly probably cost me more. So I put some skulk sensors around the base. Now this might be a little bit weird to you, but these detect noise, I'm pretty sure. So if we hear these, like, look at this. If I make noise, they actually light up and make a noise. Watch when I break a block. Yeah, yeah, look at that. But honestly, these are going to be too loud here. So what I want to do is move these to the entrances. Oh my gosh, you have to have silk touch to pick these up, dang nabbit. Now we only have one left. Okay, you know what though? We're going to put it on the entrance over here that I think Loverfella came in the first time. Now I got to make entire bookshelves to just be able to use this stupid thing. Like that's going to cost me a lot of money to do. You know, I question Isaac's thought process there. It was already in a place we could use it. We didn't need to take it. All right, there's no axolotls on the market right now. That means these could maybe fetch a pretty penny. I'm going to sell this guy for $50,000. Loverfella killed three of these earlier so if these actually sell for 50 grand then we are at a huge loss that we didn't sell these earlier this actually took me forever to build because i had to drain all the water here but the way this works is when isaac opens this he'll stand right there that'll hopefully kill him as he falls and then all we have to do now is go through and fill in the gap with these final pieces of deep slate here like you can obviously clearly still see back in there so if i do that it does block the side a little bit kind of makes it feel a little bit more like a secure area if we can make this sort of look like some sort of intentional design rather than like random chaos it'll look better that'll distract you and you'll look up and then right here here, you can still open that underneath staircases. And so that looks like a really cool intentional design. You could be like, like if he's here, he's like, oh, we have a chest here. What do we have? Open, bam, fall, he's dead. Like that's what I'm talking about. Operation Fine Loverfella though is now in full effect. I want to get back my enchanting table and I also want to get some access to those invisibility potions. All right, guys, I have an inkling that Loverfella is somewhere below the base because I have not seen him in a long time. And every time I actually see him run away, he always goes down into a corner. So <gasps> bucket of axolotl sold for 50 grand. Oh my gosh, we have literally Literally found the money glitch on the server. Just list things on the AH for crazy prices. Never price check anything and things will sell. Grab something from here, seal this up. Okay, we're gonna go back outside. I don't hear anything. I feel like we have a safe opportunity to get back up there. Cause I've actually spent $200,000 today and I haven't made anything back. And so like, that's obviously not good. Slurp and drink, here we go. I don't know where the base owner even went, dude. Whoa! Loverfella just went right by me. Did you guys just see that? Hold on. Does that mean he could have left his base exposed? Wait a minute. This could be the play. <gasps> the guy's right there. Did he see us? I don't know. We might have just got caught there. This is really bad. Oh! <laughs> 
it down. Bro didn't understand bubble elevators. He just bounced on the wrong one. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's going to try to get in. He's rigging a flint and steel. Bro's trying to light my base on fire. I saw Loverfell leave his base, and I also just found this right here, and there's cobblestone, and I'm wondering if he got lazy and covering up his base. Could this be a base right here? I don't know what this is. Okay, we're just going to cover this up so that Loverfell doesn't know we're in here. I'm pretty confident my traps are going to kill him. I might be wrong, uh, and this could be a really stupid idea, but I think that he's going to be distracted, dying, and coming back and feeling like he tricked me, and that means that I can go into his and actually really do some serious damage here to make some money. Oh, he, <laughs> he added a noise sensor. Freaking idiot. <laughs> Go ahead and get some potatoes to sell on the market. We need to go quick, though. We know Loverfell is gone now, but where is this taking us to? Holy crap. <gasps> we found it. No way. Home sweet home. Hold on. We got to get stuff and get out quick. We just flooded his base. What is this? Secret entrance right here? Netherite? Wait. 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 Oh, gosh. I don't know what's happening. No, oh, he's like trapped. Oh, my gosh. This is terrifying. We're trying to get in and out as fast as possible. Give us this nether wart now. Okay. The only thing I want to get now is actually one of these. And we'll check the chest and see if he has anything that I can take. You know what? We're just taking it all. And where's my enchanting table? I want my enchanting table back. Hold on. My freaking heart is going a thousand beats per minute right now. You know what? Honestly, I think we made too much noise. It's time to get out now. Successfully home invaded lover fella. There's a water cave here and I'm going to take it. I have buckets so I can breathe under here. There's no way he's going to catch us in here. Wow, this is huge. He put some serious time into this and some serious investment, and I am very happy to be able to steal it all. Okay, so because Isaac hasn't come back yet, it does concern me a little bit about what's going on. Ooh, 32 blocks of coal. I can sell that. Yes, sir. Take some charcoal, and let's take it back here. Wow, some sort of secret box he's made. Well, I'm gonna take the gold block. We just pulled off the old double invade on each other. He was invading me while I was invading him. Oh, he ransacked my whole farm. No, man, I should have ransacked him more. I was in a rush to get out of there because I didn't think he was gonna be gone that long. Let's see, came into the ceiling. I don't know if he found anything here. Maybe he took some of my nether wart, maybe? Did he open all these and look? Did he like do anything? I, I don't think he did anything. I'm not even sure what he did. Like I'll just replant these. He was kind enough to leave us a few potatoes. So I'll give him that. At least we can kind of restart this farm. But unfortunately he got access to a great farm too. I shouldn't have broke that. There's a dude right there. Betty is good. Just keeps sitting there. It's crazy. This is not selling because it's overpriced. If I sold it for a dollar, it's going to sell immediately. So what is that number where people want to buy it immediately and then I can mass produce them? We're going to put this one up for 14,000 because that's just enough to feel low enough that I think somebody might buy it. Hey, one of our pickaxes sold. Finally, a little bit of profit here. Okay, guys, I think we're getting close to his base. I just heard some blocks breaking, so I believe he's up here somewhere. Oh yeah, this looks familiar, guys. We're going to try to use F5 right here to look around the corner. I see no signs of lover fella. If we could get in here and steal all of his soul sand, we would completely ruin his potion production. Cause I don't think you can get more soul sand. Secret chest right here. No way. How is that there? There was absolutely no chance that I just found that. No. Yes. No! I cannot believe that was under the soul sand. No. No, I thought there was no chance you would ever break that. I can't believe it. Great play by Isaac today. By the way, just curious, how much money are you up to? 534,000. What? How is that possible? Uh, I sold a skeleton spawner for 200,000. It's okay, you can steal the cow spawners and make it come back. Not only did I miss the spawner and miss like 200K, way more than I thought, but I also just lost all my items because I was trying to set traps in the other direction and didn't even consider this side. And now I'm almost like, I'm like broken, bro. I mean, fair play to him, but that, I don't know, man. We gotta, we gotta seriously work on changing strategy. He's coming after our potion production. By the way, the potions aren't even selling. We got a full set of diamond armor, a diamond block, six gold and 21 diamonds. So basically probably like $50,000 worth of gear. That is a big steal for us. I guess this is kind of like a desperate attempt here to just kind of rethink anything else. I'm worried. I mean, I know potions could make some money and I think overnight I might get up to about 300K. But my big fear right now is that if I put all this time into potions and Isaac now knows that I'm doing it, he's gonna keep kind of stealing all my potions and I'm going to actually lose my farm. And there's no way for me to get soul sand. So that kind of is making that a very risky business opportunity. So let's go ahead and get back into his base. I know that I've destroyed his crops and I think that his shulker sensor is gone, which is hilarious. Oh, he's replanted them. Lovely. Why is he acting? Like oh, 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 the base owner's near. There he goes, zipping on out. He's out of here. Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't expect that to be in there. Dang, bro. Whoa, Isaac, you're stupid. I'm sorry to say, but what in the world is going on? Okay, we actually cannot go down right now. Wait, did you just hear that? Lower fella just opened up. He's in my base as we speak. This is not good. I just left the base. How is he in there already? Okay, hold on. We got to dig straight down on this. I don't even care. Get out of here. He put high again. Get out. See ya. Get out of here now. Thanks, bro. That's two stacks of iron. I needed that. <laughs> See you around town, buddy. You know what's funny? What? More where that came from, baby. Okay.
This is, this is getting unheard of, guys. I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, you lit in my iron already? 35,000? That's not gonna oh, sell, Zach. Bro, I just bought a dragon head for 50K. I'm pretty sure this is worth so much money, isn't it? I'm gonna try a 249K. That would be huge. After several hours of back and forth invading, Loverfella's items had sold and made him a lot of money. But even after all the effort, Isaac was still in the lead. There is some big moves in the money department. I'm up to 709,000, but don't think that means we're in the clear because Loverfella is almost to 500 k now isaac doesn't know this area exists and so the good thing is is i can very nicely expand this area and kind of turn this area back here into an underground secret private sugarcane farm the new strategy is actually to open up a business underneath this guy's base but i can't do it where loverfella could find it i'm thinking we're gonna go behind the bed back here and we'll kind of make another base in here where we can hide people to buy their apples from while isaac was building his new business area i started working on my new sugarcane farm in hopes to get my lead back that is in progress we're gonna go ahead and make some paper here now so we can get the bookshelves made so we can get that enchanted this is going to be the ultimate money maker all right so i've set up the chest shop unfortunately though we don't want to have too many people come here because if i can see the name tag over there from the base owner they can probably see mine over here but dude if there's no leather on the auction house i can't even make books because oh wait no doesn't he have a cow farm upstairs if i go up there with an invisibility potion i might be able to sneak some cow kills let's go make that happen guys we've just sent out our first teleport request to the server i just put teleport i'm buying apples for 2500 each great way to make money if you're new and here we go eb2 is she actually going to sell me some apples that's the question oh my gosh we're getting too many people here. I should have thought this through more, but I'm hoping that someone brings this app. If they don't have apples, they need to get out right away because they're going to see my actual name tag from this guy. Okay. Oh, there they are. I knew it. Let's go. Oh, yes. That, that's really so much better than I expected. There he is, bro. This guy plays a lot. Oh, no. Oh, no. One of his dogs died, so we moved them all. Benny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you went through this, and I'm still living below you, and Isaac's living above you, I think, but I'm sorry, dude. I gotta get back home, though. I have now purchased an 8-bit pickaxe, and we're gonna collect that right away, so now we have a great working tool to invade the base. It's actually an investment, because it's gonna allow us to get in and out of the base a lot faster. 40,000 for 64? Should I just buy that? Yes. Now, you might be thinking, Zach, did you just make a sugarcane farm to then literally just go around and just buy the exact same thing you're gonna make? Yes. Here's the thought process. If it only cost me $40,000, one single good enchantment that I could start making right now, we already make the money back. So what, do you, what about the sugar farm you might be thinking? It's just a loss. Efficiency three, unbreaking three. So that's exactly what we're looking for here. Efficiency three shovel. I don't know what that'll sell for. Imagine I bought these for 40 and then sold them for 40 and basically got my bookshelves for free. Oh, 56 apples. I don't know if I need that much, but you know what? That's what I said I would do. Do we have to go all in on the golden apple business now? We're paying this guy $150,000 for apples. I don't know what we just did or why we bought that, but we're back down to $512,000. This must be the most risky investment of all time by me, but you know what? We're betting on ourselves as businessmen and we now have an, a resource that is super rare i know that isaac has some sort of giant money scheme inside of his base i need to go figure out what that is so with this invisibility potion i'm gonna go watch him for the entire eight minute duration and see what i can find him do base owners over there oh he has a friend today what did, oh oh is that guy in Isaac's base? That sure looks like Isaac's base to me, folks. Somebody might have exposed him. He's not in here. Or is he? I don't know. He could be. Oh, free water buckets, free flint and steel. I'm always going to take that stuff because it's like, it just sets Isaac back. I already been in here. Wait, Loverfell is here again, guys. I hear his footsteps. He's literally always on top of me. That means that this secret base right here is definitely compromised. I just saw a suspicious looking sign. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Oh, what do we have down here, buddy? A secret ladder, huh? Okay, okay. So a little extension. All right, let's go scope that out. <laughs> I knew I heard him. He's opening a business. <gasps> That's what he's going to do? No way. A secret shop. Oh, my God. But if Isaac's going to be advertising to players, I need to bring more potions with me. Let me go home real quick and grab some more. We stole all of this gold, and that's going to allow us to craft four notch apples. Well, at least I thought it would. Why can I not craft these? Does the server prevent you from crafting golden apples? Is that why they're worth so much? No wonder nobody has notch apples for sale, because the only way, according to the wiki, to get them is by actually finding them in dungeons and chests like that. 39 golden apples we just got. I'm going to follow suit with these, and I'm going to sell these for $250,000. That'll recoup the value of all of the apples we just bought, as well as be able to sell our gold for a little bit higher than it's worth. I'm like expecting him to do anything right now. Interesting. Like there, maybe he's shopping the market. Did you think he just listed something for sale? Oh, he did. What? That's his business. He's selling apples and golden apples. That's what we just saw him do. Who's spending $50,000 on 30 apples? You idiot. That's his big idea. Does he think he's Erwan in LA trying to sell the most marked up prices? An apple? It, no one even wants that. Let's just go make some fat stacks. I feel like I could sell these probably for about 20,000. All right, I think I have a little bit of a better idea where his base is this time. All right, we're back down in here and look what I just found. 
a little piston right here covering up his base. <laughs> Isaac's here. Well, well, well. All right, guys. I don't know what this is, but Loverfella seems to have a hidden chest right there. I just got a free diamond pickaxe out of it, so I'll take that all day. Oh, he's here. We got to go. He was right at the base there, boys. We almost got caught. I uh, did not expect you to come in this way and, and avoid my trap. So there you go. That took me about an hour to make. I saw your pickaxe there, man, and I got out right away. I'm just going to dig up to the surface. Thanks for the free diamond pickaxe, though. I'm losing to a guy that thinks he's going to make money selling apples for $50,000. All right, so what all did we steal there? We got some redstone, a redstone torch, and some repeaters, as well as a sticky piston. I don't know where he got that stuff from. He might have even bought it, so that's really big to steal that from him. I'm just looking for anything that might be an opportunity for him to hide items. Because, like, he, where is he storing his things? You know what I'm saying? Like, where would he possibly be storing his things? So let me, like, put myself in the shoes of Isaac, because there's no way this is all he owns. Oh, man, I literally found it. So he's actually actually got his own brewing operation in here. Other side of his wall. This is crazy. What this tells me for a fact is that Isaac is trying to get on the brewing business and he's trying to use the stuff that I gave him for this. I don't even know if he realizes that I just found a secret room. Sounds like he has no clue. Now this was our second base, guys. After we got caught from the first one, this is where I went and I'm putting everything in this chest up here. Loverfella clearly hasn't found this because it's still full of a bunch of our stuff. So I'm just going to unload a bunch of stuff that I think is actually going to be pretty valuable in the future. I'm going to try to sneak down the stairs here so our footsteps are silent to sneak behind the owner right here and actually get into his chest room again. Now, everybody watching this right now is thinking about a sword that they want me to take. And I already picked. I want this one right here. If you pick the same one, we are the same people. And let's see what we pick. Sharpness one. Okay, we're absolute garbage. But this little crafting station right here, I want all of this. So I'm going to try to take all of this as fast as possible. What is this little chest? 8-bit pickaxe in here? Oh my gosh, I just bought one of those for $50,000. That's huge. And ender pearls. Holy crap. We got to get this and get out though, because we don't have time to actually loot up the rest of this. We now just need to get out. And I'm just going to do that by going through this nether Portal. There's a bunch of soul sand right here. This has to be the best nether spawn I've ever seen in my entire life. Like this is beautiful for harvesting this soul sand. And I think soul sand is actually worth a decent amount of money. Dude, look how nice that is. That painting actually kind of covers up the secret chest. And I don't think you can still access it, but that's kind of cool. And then to make sure that it's invisible, we'll put a block right here. And he's not going to realize there's anything behind the secret painting. All right. There's a lot of paranoia coming in here. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, I mean, there's, it, there just is. We're back in the base now and our base is actually right above this. So I might just try to sneak up the staircase again and get out of here as fast as possible now if we stay to the left here they shouldn't be able to see us because that's how it worked for me so that's what i'm going to try to do okay we have to really tight rope along this and you can just barely see their feet there through the beacon but i don't think they can see us so we're just going to try to sprint out the front now and go back through our little hole right here this goes right down into the base actually i just bought a frog spawner for one thousand dollars i think these this will sell for ten thousand actually I'm, I'm pretty sure i snagged another great deal this was a really powerful bow i got that for five thousand i feel like that's worth a lot more than five thousand like i think okay well it was wasn't a great deal actually so unfortunately I, I will lose some money yeah so there's actually no ender pearls up for sale right now so we'll just go ahead and list these for five thousand dollars each that seems like a fair value five thousand is kind of my go-to when i don't know what something's worth because people will spend that even if it's a little overpriced i actually did flip the bow for a thousand dollars profit <laughs> That's kind of funny. I actually can't believe that. There were so many cheaper ones in the market. Oh, he found my secret base. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh man, we got to go get a revenge instantly. Are you absolutely kidding me? How did he find this back here? I did not leave it uncovered. Did he just randomly dig into it? So I have been sitting here for a while. I bought this for $100. I'll, I'll sell it for 5K. What else we got on here? Boys, keep listening. Keep listening. I'll keep buying everything. I don't care. Here we go. We're back at our original staircase right here. I remember making this. This was probably my most favorite base. It was so clean. We actually have 27 melons that we can turn all into seeds and this can become our new melon patch over here but they should grow pretty good like this i don't know for a hundred thousand dollars there's a lot of them but i'm gonna try this and see i have this weird money making idea it was very expensive but the way these work is quite simple so you open it up and you get a special rune so this is death wish one i can do this 64 times and flood the market with these you're looking for the uncommon runes right here there's not that many listed so i'm gonna sell them for pretty cheap prices and make a lot of money i think we're actually just gonna be turning this all into soul sand or at least as much soul sand as i have and then we need to break into loverfellow's base and steal back the nether warts and then we'll bring him here and he's not going to have any idea where they went because he's going to go check my other base and they're not going to be there then once he gets confused it'll be too late because we've already have grown them up and actually propagated them over here sound isolation nullifies all sound coming from you see that that's going to be something i'll keep look no sound. Now, I basically figured out where his base is perfectly at this point. I believe it's like right here. This is all new. I've never seen this before. This sugar cane is something that I don't have either. We did just take some damage there. I mean, that made noise, but hopefully it wasn't enough noise for him to notice. We've now successfully infiltrated his sugar cane farm. Look at this. So this will remain our stock in our inventory for future flips. We've got a lot of them listed, but if I put too many on the market, it's going to start getting suspicious, I think, to future people looking to buy anything. We'll leave that as it is. And then we've got these really crazy boots that I'm going to now 
thought that was Isaac and I just literally felt my heart drop. I was like, if Isaac saw what I just did, I'm gonna have to like move everything. He was right in the doorway and did not see us. There's no way. And now I know there's a false wall behind the enchanting table right now. I've guys, I'm not even gonna lie. Screw. Wait, why did I throw that? Crap, guys, I just threw an uh, uh, ender pearl. I did not mean to. Where is he? He's here somewhere. I just heard an ender pearl. I know that that's what he sold because I saw it in the market. I gotta get invisibility potion ace up. I gotta close this up. Isaac's here. I have poison and I have invisibility. Let's go. He's here somewhere and he could be inside my walls right now. He could be even making a fob inside my base right now. This is the perfect hiding spot for me. He's never gonna be able to see me through all this either. And he left this perfect spot in the wall for lighting. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Ready, guys? I got a really cool play plan for us right here. Oh, he found me. And the pearl out, baby. Not so fast, buddy. Crap. Nice try. Nice Get out try. before he kills us, boys. Nice try. We got to the water. Woo. How long did you know? Oh, I've been watching you the whole time, my friend. How I saw long, Zach? Oh, I don't know. 10 minutes? How long we were there? I heard the first There's no way. through. Okay, so no, no, that was actually pretty far. All right, now that does lead to some bad news. If Isaac knows where our base is, that means he probably has been watching me in here for a long time and potentially saw my false wall here. But he doesn't know about the second false wall, nor does he know about what I hope is the secret room under this. I'm hoping. Now we're actually gonna move this enchanting table over to this base because again, I don't think he's gonna be checking this area for a while. We'll also get these nether warts in the ground over here um, while we remember. Hey, there we go. My speed farming rune sold for $7,500. So if you put the math up on screen, we spent 99K, made 7,500. We still have this much debt to make back for we're even on that. But at least one of them sold. That's a sign that the market exists, at least. But we're selling more ender pearls as we speak, guys. They sell so often. If you guys want to make money on the server, ender pearls, guys, those are not even hard to get. Just go to the end and just kill a bunch of endermen, including three, and just sell the stacks of 16. I mean, it's free money. This amethyst is a very loud block to break. So I'm just thinking, when he breaks this, that's loud, right? So we could secure the edge with one of the loudest blocks, kind of double layer it, and then make sure that if he does come back, he won't be able to just walk in here without making a whole lot of noise. All right, let's go make some money, boys. Base feels secure. I feel safe. I got a lot of valuable items in there that I'm going to be selling at last minute tomorrow for some profit. Let's go rob Isaac. Hey there, Betty. What you doing? Doing a little farming, huh? This guy may have particles on, so we're just going to... Oh, we're going to zip on by. Woo! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's someone up here. What are the odds? And he randomly stumbled upon Isaac. What is he doing? Oh, where did he come out? Where did he come out of? Oh, he came out of right here. Ender pearls into the water. Watch this. I just heard his footsteps. I'm confident. We are getting into his base unchecked now. This is incredible. No, dang it. It's his original base. Oh my God. I tried. I keep thinking that I have found it. I keep getting so freaking exciting that I found the actual secret base. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on. Okay. If he just left, there's a chance he's going to my base. I a high chance of it. Finally dug in. There's a secret chest here, but there's nothing in it. What did I just dig into? Okay, we're in a soul sand farm, I guess. Is there invisibility potions in here? Please tell me he left invisibility potions. Awkward potions, splash potions. There's no invisibility potions. He didn't leave anything for me. Okay, we're getting his nether wart though. I'm telling you, there's nothing in my base. That means he's gonna be back here soon. Okay, ender pearls will steal. Nothing else of value in there besides some glass. We gotta get out of here quick or he's gonna find us. Just go. I'm clearing this place out. I got super breaker. I'm just like digging in random straight lines. I know he has it. I, I have to confidently say he has. What is this? Wait a minute, this is different. Oh, this is original base. He's actually seemingly still working here on the original base. There's the enchantment table. Okay, here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. I knew it. I knew it. That's why you don't give up. Anvil there. I don't really want that. I'll leave that. Oh, oh! He killed us with a trap! You gotta be kidding me! No! Oh my gosh, I gotta go talk to him. Oh, he's already here. You gotta be kidding me. You know what though? He did just kill us, so honestly, I'm not even mad. Welcome back, buddy. Your trap in the base, it was a giant lava pit. It just absolutely annihilated me. I got greedy and I fell right down it. How? I just didn't even How? see it. I, I don't know, I was just ripping your base apart, stealing everything, and then I, next thing I know, I was falling down a pit. Okay, bet. 10,000 bucks. I'm going home. Nice capture. Okay. There it is. $10,000 from Isaac. Thanks, buddy. I'm going home. Bye-bye. So we added a new rule where since we can't kill each other because it'll expose us to the actual base owner, if you kill the other person using any sort of trap, you can get $10,000 from them. So that was a $20,000 swing. And now I'm going to go home and I am out of invisibility potion. So that kind of makes this a lot more difficult because the base owner is actually home. He absolutely ransacked the place, guys. I mean, look at this. This was all soul sand that he dug up and stole. I'm only left with 64 now. I guess there's a little bit more on the ground. What I'm going to do is ender pearl down to the water here and then we're actually going to swim down and make a little glass dome base where he's never going to check there's no way he would ever come into this water because he doesn't have the enchantment i have that lets me breathe underwater so i might just hollow out this little spot in the wall here and then we'll take the glass and we'll have this sea floor view right here his base is literally right on the other side of this and we're just going to hollow this out and make it a cozy little starter home this is going to be awesome it looks like the idea of selling runes did very very well it looks like the amethyst sold a lot of our custom tools also sold and of course so did our spawners and all of our 
deep slate. These two heart of the seas for $50,000. That was a great steal from inside the base. And then even more important, we managed to sell 30 normal apples for 50 grand and five of these golden apples for 50 grand. Oh. Our dragon head sold for $100,000. That's a $50,000 profit, so that's amazing. All right, we of course want to get down our crafting table, and I also managed to bring down a stone cutter. I think I snapped, I nabbed this from Loverfellas base, which he stole from me, so we can actually turn our cobblestone into a bunch of different things, but more importantly, we can turn the diorite into some awesome blocks, like these diorite slabs, which I was thinking would look really good as our ceiling in here. Oh, look at that, guys. Golden apples just sold for $25,000. I told you, the apple store that we opened up earlier was literally the best thing ever. All right, Benny, we've got replanted. Your dog's still dead. Oh, man, bro, you have a full gold block. I hate, I hate, like, do I, you know what I mean? Another $14,000. I hate coming in here and just stealing that gold block. Oh, my God, there you are. Oh, he's blocking his friends. I see, I see, I see. He's AFK again with his dogs. Can I snag these right in front of him? Is there anything in here? All right, thank you so much, Betty, for your service. Two full diamond blocks and a gold block. I feel like that's worth some actual decent money. We're working back first up into the OG base that I made when we first started this invade. Now, all that stuff I wanna bring down to the new base, so I feel pretty comfortable with this. We gotta go super fast, though. I gotta use the right tool for all of these things to pick them up. We're just gonna break all of the sweet berries now, and we're gonna grab the melons, I think, and then we're getting out. Now, where is the base owner? Oh my gosh, this area looks completely new to me, actually. Did the base owner do some improving up here? Hold on, I'm getting a little greedy. I gotta go for a little invade before Loverfellow finds this room. We gotta go really crafty here. I'm gonna try to steal all of these bookshelves too. Now we're just gonna make our escape from this base. Swan dive into the ocean and we should be out of here clean without getting caught. What if I were to open up another business down here, put all the runes in that business and sell it, put a chest in here. Let's say we filled this in a little bit. Let's say we had the chest kind of sit in the wall and we turn it into a chest shop. And then let's say we stocked it up and we actually opened a fully functional business. I know Isaac was going to, but he, he didn't. And I'm speed building the sugarcane farm right now. I think this will be the perfect size for it. It's actually the same design that Loverfell used. We're trying to move as fast as possible right now because the challenge is literally coming to an end. It's almost over and we need to make as much money as fast as possible. All right, now if you were to come to my shop, I'll all of these would cost you four thousand dollars then all we need to do is make sure that when the customers come here they can't really travel too far so we'll go ahead and put up some blocks like this to segment it from the rest of the base and then we're gonna put in some requests in chat and see if we can get some people to teleport here to come shop and i might make some money or i might make nothing i have literally no clue this is gonna work he might be in our base right now but i'm actually gonna try to get out of here as fast as possible and get over to his base and we're gonna block this off behind us so that if he wants to chase us he has to break out and we'll hear it people are trying to sell me i'm trying to sell them it's just a it's just a salesmanship battle right now but if i can pull this off oh hey we got a guy we got a customer let's go oh my gosh there's somebody else right in front of me that's not lover fella hold on what's he saying it's kind of oh we got another this guy is rich i bet i don't even see him he's invisible problem is they're not buying a single thing and um that's not good i, I really thought i would have sold something we didn't sell any we didn't really didn't sell any for four thousand oh no crap i put it all as buying i'm an idiot bro oh my god we need him to advertise again though so that more people come in here because the more people that are in here the easier we're going to be able to remain undetected like i don't i don't know what's happening and i'm just scared all right that's the end of the day i'm scared i just want to sell some items for four thousand each please come on yes oh that's the auction house well we sold the frog spawners for ten thousand dollars i can't complain about that Okay, crap. I just saw him in the face. We got to get out of here. Bye, Isaac. I'm getting out. I saw you. I figured out your plan. I'm getting out. Bye, Isaac. <laughs> All right. I know Isaac's looking at me right now, trying to scope out what's going on. We still haven't sold a single one of these, so it's not working out great for me, but we're just shy of a million dollars. We need to get up there and get those cow spawners before Loverfella makes a play on them. The base owner is back here in this back part of the base. So that means the front should be open and we could get back down to that storage room. And who knows, maybe we'll find something in there of value. I'm gonna try to work down the actual front right here and sell whatever we can get. We're crouching our way down the steps right now. Look at this. I am like a little rat. <laughs> it's like a little rat, dude. Listen, we already checked most of everything out over here. Now we could take the obsidian and the bookshelves. I would love to get the bookshelves again. Bookshelves are worth a lot of money. It looks like we ransacked this area already. I just want to check this chest to make sure there's nothing of value in here. 64 copper and 64 chicken and a couple spy glasses. I might just grab those because they look like they might sell. All of that stuff is just junk. None of that's going to sell. Okay, hold on a minute. I just found a first edition copy of Shrek and this could sell for a lot of money. A ray of light shines down in a leather bound book. It's literally the entire story of Shrek. Oh, he bought it. He bought it for $4,000. Let's go. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. You're the king. I am so happy. Sold another wards for some money. 4,500 per rune. Let's get them all up and listed. I can make my money back. Let's go. Okay. The cheapest netherite ingot is $35,000. This is probably the riskiest play of the entire day right here, but I'm going to buy this. I'm going to delist my diamond armor so that I can create some netherite plate bodies. 
I already sold my diamond, so I only have one here, so I actually need more. Okay, this is potentially, we're, okay, we're in a weird, okay, now we're in a weird situation I don't want to be in right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, we're good. I'm just going to list this one up for $40,000, because I think that's a fair value for it, because I bought it for $50,000 brand new. We also have this netherite shovel, which I'm just going to chuck up there for $10,000, and then we have a vote axe. I mean, I'm just selling all my tools right now, so this thing will probably sell for like $5,000 if someone needs a diamond axe. This is very risky, but I'm going to go up here, because I know that this previous base owner, the guy who lives up here right now, had an armor stand that had diamond on it. I know exactly where it is. It's kind of crazy that he just left these paths in his base. I think it's right out here. Let's see, right here. We'll take, uh, I need the boots and there they are. Oh, I need the boots, I need the boots, the boots. There we go. Okay, a few people have sugarcane listed too. They're selling it for about $5,000 a stack. So I'm just gonna list mine up for 2,500 so that we can actually sell it. And I think it will sell too, um, just because people are gonna want this to actually make their own farms. There we go, there we go. So we made these boots have like a lot of really cool custom enchantments. We're gonna take these back downstairs. We're gonna then put this here. We're gonna turn these into netherite boots. So now they're netherite boots with a lot of really cool custom enchantments, which is very nice, right? People are gonna like this. All right, there we go. We ended up with 41 bookshelves and I'm honestly just gonna tear out our enchanting room here. I wanted to invade our, our enchanting table back from Loverfella, but it never happened, unfortunately. So we might as well just cut our losses here and turn this into the perfect little bookshelf sales. If we could get 64 of these, actually, they would sell a lot easier. I just sold an iron ingot, the ones that I mined for 20K. Now I've spent 35K on the ingot. So let's see what the market looks like for armor and let's make some money. There's $20,000 off of some bookshelves right there. What I like to do is just go through and sell all of the, the random blocks that we've accumulated while invading, which is a lot of stone pressure plates that we stole from Loverfella space just little stuff basically if i could sell these for 99k that would be really nice that's like a fifty thousand dollar profit it's actually massive if you think about it all right so nether ward is being listed for about four thousand dollars right now for a stack so we'll just sell ours for 2500 and we should undercut everyone that's just been my name in the game so far is just to get the same items that everyone else is selling and just undercut them on price and i think if we really want to win we need to get another high ticket item from the actual base owner up here is this our opportunity we just swam up here and i don't see anybody here we can actually work our way in through here by breaking the glass they might be checking out over there where i broke in earlier we're into the cow spawner room guys what i'm actually going to do is just steal the middle two cow spawners this is a little bit of a wild play here but i think it could pay off wait a minute i just broke the cow spawner and i didn't have silk touch so it just disappeared oh no we can't actually get those unless we have silk touch that is a massive misplay by me and i just ruined the guy's cow farm for nothing i think we just need to cut our losses then there's a bunch of leather we'll go ahead and take that okay 64 steak and we're getting out right now isaac is selling 47 ingots for five thousand dollars it doesn't seem that crazy then that i should actually buy isaac's ores which is weird to say and then flip isaac's underpriced asset i bet he's happy that i just bought that from him all right time to get back into loverfella's base now guys none of the crops are grown up enough to actually harvest and i've invaded the base two times up there but it's just getting too risky now what is this i did not make this part of this this is just an entrance into his area oh my gosh netherite shovel sold for 10 grand too okay hold on we're actually making some massive plays right now on the sales wait a minute he's right there did he just see me? Oh my gosh, did anyone just see his feet down there? Oh. Wait, 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 Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Guys, this is an entire wall. I think we found it, I think we found it, I think we found it, I think we found it. Oh my God, I think we found it. We're in his walls. <laughs> I found it. Now the best thing I can do is get in here without him noticing. See what I can steal and then get out and close it up. There's nothing in it to steal. What? Where are you hiding your items, Isaac? There's still not a whole lot to take yet, but I, I know there has to be somewhere or something. We're gonna go very quickly here. I'm not even gonna worry about that. And I'm just gonna carve out the entire floor. And I'm gonna see if there's any barrels underneath here being hidden. Here we go, ready? Anything under here, I will discover at this point. Okay, I don't see anything this way. Let's move a little deeper into the base right now. This gets my heart going every time. There's a shop right here. Do we risk it and open that up? Oh my gosh, I think we do. I think we do. I think we try to steal everything in here. There's nothing in there. Crap. Okay, hold on, hold on. We just made a lot of noise there. If he's here, you think we would have heard him right there come in after we just made that noise. Oh, he is, he is, he's here, he's here. The problem is the vines make a very distinctive noise. Oh my Crap. God. What the heck? What the heck? Crap. What are you doing? Isaac, what are you? No, stop, stop. Yeah. What are you doing back there? You literally just freaked me out. Why did you look back there? I, w I thought it was back to my base. I was I was walking home and you were just randomly back there. You caught me on accident? Yeah, I didn't even know you were in here. It took me like 10 minutes to get to that spot and you found me on accident? Wow, that was weird. Bro, my heart is beating so fast. What if we just did first one to a million dollars? Like, we're almost close to it. That seems like the best ending point. Uh, that seems like a pretty fair idea. I'll try it. First one to a million dollars wins. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you about to win like 
like instantly? Please don't. No, I couldn't do that. Good luck, buddy. Okay. All right, I just listed that pickaxe for $130,000. If that sells, I win the challenge right now and it's over because of Isaac giving that offer. And after setting up the goal of whoever gets to a million dollars first wins, we both started aggressively listing every single item we had on the auction house. I sold swords and hoes and Isaac even started selling his own food. That puts us up to 872,000. We need to somehow make 132,000 more dollars. I just, I don't know, dude. This is going to be the most risky invade of the entire day. We just sold an ax for $5,000. That's big for sure. We have the chance to open up one of these shulker boxes and then we have to dip straight into the nether portal or we will get caught. So I am going to choose this white one up here on the top left. We're going to open it, see what we get and we're getting out right away. Okay. What did we find here? I feel like nothing of value. Whatever this purple one is right there, we took it and we're getting out. In case she were to follow us in here, we need to get a hiding spot. I think our best bet is just to dig down. Hopefully that doesn't fall into the lava. Okay. All right. We got some sort of very rare rune. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to list it for $25,000. That's all I could get out of that invade. I've been mining netherite because it's worth a fortune at the auction house, but I didn't realize how much work it was to just find one. And after 30 minutes of looking, I only managed to get three. There's 6,000 each here. So $15,000. So we'll do 14. See, if I would have gotten one more, we would have got 30,000. But because of this, we're only getting about 14,000. But it is what it is. $924,000. We literally don't have a pickaxe now. We're completely broke. Nothing selling on the market. I got to figure something out, bro. $25,000. We sold whatever that purple thing was for $25,000, guys. We now only need $49,000 to get there. Come on, my pickaxe just needs to sell. Okay, it really does look like the base owner is right on the other side of the it's a wall though. If I come up here, are they going to instantly catch me? That's the question. Wait, where are they at? The base owner is literally on the other side of this. Oh my gosh, they're looking the other direction. No way. We're in the base. What can we do in here to make money though? The beacon? Do we finally steal the beacon? I think we do. This is the time. They're out there on the balcony doing who knows what. We got it. And that's going to give us away. So we need to get out of here now. Is this a full diamond block beacon? Oh, but the base owner's coming. We don't have time, guys. We have to get out now. They're actually going to catch us. They definitely just heard the beacon disappear. Oh, good thing we just found a cave. We can use this to escape. This connects to our original base. I remember this area. Oh, Oh, clean escape right there. All right, beacons are for sale right now, guys, and they look like they're going for $50,000 each. I'm gonna list this thing for $49,000. If it sells, we win. Actually, we only need to list it for $48,000 now because we just sold something for $1,000. Wait, we're selling a lot of things for $1,000 right now. All of my little crafting things are selling. This is perfect. Sold one of my runes, sold another one of my runes. Sold another one of my runes. Sold another one of my runes. I sold another. Oh, my pickaxe sold for 12,500. We're up to 964K. Making some deals. Let's get these all listed now. Okay, we're in the base now. We no longer need this helmet. We're gonna list it right now. It has shark kills on it, so maybe- We sold it! We won! Finally, guys. 1,300,000, baby! No! Yes! My God! Yes! No. Guys, Isaac got his very first trade-up win today, but we're not gonna end this without rewarding this poor player for being traumatized us for an entire week. 